I guess now I'm under obligation to make a 400 sub special because you bastards really love me. Let me just turn on the green screen. And there we go. So now that I have my green screen on, I... Uh... Oi! You got the wrong background. You're showing the picture of me to be seen to this. Honestly, it makes you look like a creep. What? Oh shit! Fuck, 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 fuck! Do you want me to play the intro? Yes, please! This is totally bad! I have voices in my head, they count for me, they understand. By the way, this is my pet hamster, Chunky. There are some people out there that say the world is gonna end, and you'll be surprised at what they think is gonna end it. Well, I don't know, a giant space hamster? This planet belongs to me now. Not gonna lie, your intro's pretty nice, but I have the feeling I've seen this intros before. Hi, my little flavors. Welcome to another episode of the Motley Stew Show, where we try to dig through the nitty gritty of some of the big stories of the week in the news and in politics and try to break through the echo chamber and figure out what's really going on. It's too bad many feminists don't want to go outside their echo chambers because if they did, they need to face, oh dear, reality. And why we should care. Taking a break from the 2016 presidential hopefuls, we're going to start talking today about a topic that will definitely be mentioned in the campaign, specifically because of Hillary Clinton and Carly Fiorina. Oh, this is the best part of the video. Brace yourselves, everyone. That fearful, scary, dastardly word. Oh, God, you don't mean that is going to come up so much is. <laughs> well, we're fucked now, ladies and gents. Now, before we get into what that word means in today's political climate, let's actually talk about what the word actually means and its history. Look, I'm not going to bother to even go through this again. I already heard the definition too many times, and quite frankly, I'm sick of it. As for history, I think it's safe to say we don't need a history lesson. But if you want to hear the abridged version, here it is. Somewhere in the late 1800s, first wave feminism is born. This was around the time women were in fact to have less rights than that of men, especially women of color. As time passed, more and more rights were given towards women. Then second wave feminism was born. This was around the time World War II, and while women gotten some rights, they still were not equal. By the near end of the 60s, women pretty much had the same rights of that of men. In the 1990s, however, that's when third wave feminism was born. It is nothing more than a mere mockery of what the first and second wave feminists have done. And you know what examples I'm going to bring up? The wage gap, the one five myth, man spreading, ban the word bossy. These are just the icing of the cake. Now that's just some of them, and if you want to read all of them, I'll give you a link down below. So that's 167 years ago, over a century and a half for us to learn what that word really means and how it was employed all the way back then to what women were fighting for, what they needed. Yet somewhere along the way, the word has been stolen and used for this idea that to be a feminist, women must hate men. Well, I hate to break it to you, but feminists are not too far off from there. They must be superior to men, and they must reduce men to some sort of crawling, cave-dwelling Neanderthal that's only good for hammering things into the wall or finding that damn remote. Oh, just admit it, you would love that, wouldn't you? Seriously, there is a renaissance of ignorance surrounding this term as society reignites a battle for gender equality that hasn't been seen since the late 60s or early 70s. Like being offended by video games! Hooray! Today we hear about feminism in a number of different ways. Supporters of it use it as a term to talk about gender parity. They also use it in order to perform Monday everyday activities gender equality across all lines, and in fact equality across all races and creeds and genders, while others lob it across the battle lines like a verbal grenade, equating the opponent as a sexist, man-hating lesbian. Again, you're not too far from there. Or if the man's a target, he's weak-willed, he's whipped, and he's a sissy. Well, let's analyze this for a moment. 
female feminists almost never debate with people when it comes to feminism. If she wants to start a quote-unquote conversation and she pisses off people, then she's going to start off by saying that people who gotten mad at her must be MRAs or MGTOWs. Over the weekend, I got a lot of comments on a video I posted maybe three weeks ago about how to teach boys not to rape. And they were all comments from men's rights activists, meninists, um, that there's this new, or I don't know if it's new, but uh, this group of people who hate women called um, MGTOWs or some sh** like that. Then claimed that she's being attacked because she's a woman on the internet who is just speaking out her mind. The comments were sort of really like missing the point and um, kind of just hating on me for being a woman speaking out against rape. No, male feminists are no different. They can't play the sexism card because they are male. However, they will always come up with some form of excuse not to take in criticism. They will just disable their comment section, or if you're on Twitter, they'll most likely block you. And it doesn't matter on how rational you are. What matters is that you oppose feminism, and because you oppose it, you hate women, even if you are a woman yourself. And of course, not well endowed. Most of the hate around this word is coming from a small segment of society, which is mostly men, but not all, who are clinging to old-fashioned gender roles. What? This is so wrong. Yes, I agree that some people out there who oppose feminism like the gender role that they are in, but most of the anti-feminists are not trying to go back to the dark ages. I have a friend here named Miss Misanthropist. She's a female, and you know what she does? She pisses the hell out of feminists on Twitter and Tumblr because she dares to question feminism. And the fact that she's a female really gets under their skin. And while she's at it, she's making money. Honestly, if a woman wants to become a president, then I have no ill will about that. Because guess what? I care for a good president, regardless of skin color, gender, or sexual orientation. Where men went out and earned the money to take care of the home, and the women stayed home and took care of the children. And sure, that scenario sounds kind of picturesque to some people, but that ignores the underlying darkness of where those gender roles actually came from. Days when women couldn't leave the house without a male escort for fear of being seen as harlots. Women who couldn't control their own bank accounts because obviously they were too dumb for basic math. Women who couldn't claim physical or sexual abuse against their fathers, brothers, boyfriends, or husband, obviously because they asked for it, they dressed for it, or they made them do it. But we're not living at that time anymore. Mostly because women have choices now. The idea that there already is gender parity and women's rights, and that this uprising of feminism is just a lot of whining and trying to get revenge on men for some sort of past sins, is utter nonsense. And you should totally believe in that and don't question it. Places like these that I'm showing now run on fear. Are you fucking kidding me? The Return of Kings website is not a MRA website. There are plenty of articles out there that spoke out against the MRAs. And the answer is no. They really do not appear to be a men's rights activist website. They actually seem to be opposed to the men's rights movement altogether. And what do you mean they run by fear? Do you honestly think they're just a bunch of man babies who are afraid of losing power to women? Because that seems to be the greatest concern right now. Oh god, a female president, we must stop it! The fear that these men are somehow losing masculinity or losing power because women can actually be equal or, god forbid, in a higher position than them. Oh, you're so totally right with this straw man right here! Hey, Honey Badger's Brigade! Guess what? Despite the fact that you are mostly a female group, you are afraid of a female president! So how does this cultural uprising of double X respect, and not triple X, that's a whole different topic, come into play in the 2016 election? Well, according to some folks, if Hillary Clinton wins, it will only be proof that feminism is ruining the world. And there's a reason why, and it mostly involves Hillary Clinton's past. Doubt their sincerity? Let's look at some of the recent greatest hits of what's being blamed on feminism. The Ferguson Riots. Infrastructure funding being derailed. Where the fuck do you get this ideas? Seriously, 
Where are the citations? NFL punishment of football players. Security breaches at the White House because the guard was female. Domestic violence itself. You do realize that feminists tend to look the other way when it comes to violence towards men. Sexual assault on college campuses. The fucking mattress girl! Oh, for fuck's sake, she's been proven a liar. And plus, these feminists are still siding with Mattress Girl because she was spreading awareness. It doesn't matter if she ruined that guy's life or called him a rapist. She was doing the right thing. The supposed end of Father's Day. Boys falling behind in school. Well, geez, I don't know. Maybe because boys are facing prejudice in college. The disintegration of the family structure. Feminists tend to keep quiet when it comes to divorce courts, and whenever we do bring it up, they'll be like, Oh yeah, 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 we totally care, totally. Female teachers getting sexually involved with their students. I know there's an article somewhere where these feminists were defending the female pedophile. The banning of water guns from the Boy Scouts. Oh yeah, that's totally the work of feminism right there, you know? It's an evil organization and stuff, it does random evil things. Overall, ruining women. Certain men see the power structure that have been standing for a long time beginning to crumble and it frightens them. Because that's what it boils down to. Men must stay on top regardless of whatever happens. But it shouldn't. The core tenet of feminism is not to punish men for sins of the past. It is to create gender parity across both genders. Or many genders if you want to get really specific. And it's not some radical idea that we think that there should be more women in government, especially when you're talking about legislation surrounding birth control and abortion. Oh, I do believe there's a couple of feminists that might say otherwise. Because it is their bodies that is being regulated. Men can completely understand the weight of these decisions, and we can support them or debate them. But we can never fully comprehend the intrinsic battle that goes on inside of a woman when she makes these huge decisions. Oh, this argument, you don't know what it's like to be a woman, yada 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 yada. Feminism, like racism, once you understand it, is an idea that is impossible to negate. What the fuck do you mean it is impossible to negate? All people, everyone, are created equal and should be treated as such. That brings me to the question for this week. What is your impression of feminism? Do you consider yourself to be a feminist? Have you had good or bad interactions with someone else who considers themselves to be one? I am closer to being a neo-Nazi than to become a feminist. That's how bad feminism is. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching another episode of The Motley Stew Show. If you like what's going on here, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Is it finally over? Cause this video is taking me at least a few hours to make. You have no idea how long it took me to animate that hamster. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. Someday, you'll be mine. Oh my god, this bitch is really dumb. I think my brain is going. I think I am going to hurl on this stupid girl.